Hello, 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 everyone. Here we are at 360. It is, oh, wow, the 4th of September. Kids will be coming home any any minute because they got a half a day. Ooh, can't wait till full day start. Anyway, uh, we got to the first day of anxiety for the little <laughs> one. But anyway, he's he went, and now he's happy. So anyway, as we know, last week when Ask was here, I believe on Thursday, uh, he had said that uh, ABC is gone now. Now there's only sometime this month, by the end of the month, we're going to have a reset, and it's going to be fantastic. And at that point, he said he'll be able to give us more info what's going on and then talk about chapter number two, which I'm really looking forward to. I think that will be fantastic. And what we do now... Oh, uh, by the way, Ash has the link. If he gets it and has time, he comes in. That's just the way it is. But he's very busy. Things are on track. Things are looking good. Last time we talked to him, he's very upbeat. Everybody saw that. So that's a good sign. And the big one was he got all the data back, 100%. That was a really big one. Because uh, well, if you guys ever look at uh, code and source code and the regular code, it's massive, massive. But on past, I can't even imagine what it looked like. And it's like trying to find a needle in the needle stack, okay? But they seem to get it all, which is, thank God, really. Um, we we found out last week that, you know, everybody thinks we've got problems. They got problems. Ash has problems, too. We found out that his nephew had drowned, and that was pretty heart-wrenching. On top of everything that's going on, it puts a perspective of what really matters in its family and um, life and stuff like that. So our prayers go out to us and the family for sure. Um, yesterday, as you know, we're all doing shine the light or in the chair or conversation or whatever you want to call it, but we're getting to know a lot of the a lot of you in on passive uh, by shining or sitting you in a chair or communicating with you so other people can get to know you too. And we, I found that personally, a lot of people I didn't know as, as well as I thought I did until they come on and start talking. We had a great guy on yesterday, uh, a policeman. He's got a really funny story. Uh, you've got to listen to it. Um, but yesterday, uh, Chris had a good idea. Yeah, Mark, that's a breakdown. But Chris had a great idea. Of, there's some people like in Papua New Guinea, or Africa, that are having trouble, you know, coming on. Restream's not the easiest one. It doesn't, uh, the connectivity is not the best. So what we're telling people, and there's one thing I left out, and I want to say that now. If you record maximum 20-minute video telling us about yourself, who you are, whatever you feel comfortable saying, okay, this isn't about pressure, but we'd like to know who you are. Who were you before you knew about Unpassive? How'd you find out? What is it about Unpassive that said, you know what? I got to do that. And what do you want to get out of Unpassive? If you could send, and this goes for Red too, I'm talking for him, I probably shouldn't, but it makes it easier for us because he can play the video just like we can, and we can lead up to it and be really good. And it's probably easier for our brothers and sisters in like Papua New Guinea or Africa or India or whatever, to make the video and send it to us. Okay, and if that helps, fantastic. Keep it 20 minutes or less. And the reason is nobody's listening to a video more than 20 minutes. It's just the way it is. You gotta, you gotta think about that. And you can go pretty well. And just be you. There's no, don't worry about being oh, I'm nervous or why. You know about you better than we do. You're just talking about you. Don't come on. We don't don't do a uh, webinar. Uh, yeah, of course it's good to tell everybody the gratitude you have towards the Mafara family, obviously. But yeah, and when you do this video, if you decide to do it, and, and I don't care where you send it, Red's got openings, we got openings. It doesn't matter. But when you send it, 
make sure you send a headshot, like from here up, shoulders up. That way we can put you on the poster. Anyway, there's that. And um, I believe that's all I have for right now. I'm going to turn it over to Red. Uh, thank you very much, Marty. Chris, how you doing? Good to be here. Thumbs up all round. Fantastic. Uh, OK, I've got a few little bits and pieces uh, for you. Um, obviously, we're talking a lot at the moment about when we saw our CEO uh, last week. We saw him twice, in fact, didn't we? Uh, Thursday and also Friday. Uh, once again, uh, condolences from uh, all of us, especially from the Redfern household with uh, what's going on at the moment. Uh, like I, uh, Marty said, on top of <laughs> everything that's gone on, uh, once again, a, another great big spanner chucked into his uh, working life. Uh, so condolences. And we certainly send you all of the best uh, to get through a very, very difficult time, I'm sure. Uh, but one of the things I did pick up uh, on Wednesday, uh, well, Thursday when we saw him, he did mention about being in the chair. And he also said that he would like to have a round two. Uh, on Off the back of that, I have actually emailed him and uh, put something out there for him. So obviously, uh, if we get the go ahead on that, you guys will be notified and it will probably be a recording like last time. Uh, but obviously a different theme. And this is one of the reasons why I contacted him by email was to see which direction that he wanted the interview to go in. Uh, we, what we're trying to do uh, within the chair and also what Marty and that is doing is, especially when we have our CEO on there, is to try and get as much information that is going to be of use. Um, he is no, he is notably one uh, that likes to use his time constructively, and that means giving uh, as much information as possible. So I'll bring you up to date with that as well. Um want to just clarify really as far as what he said on 360 as far as uh we had the abcs a couple of weeks ago and then on um on thursday he brought us that extremely good news about the data and all the rest of it before i go into the data i just want to say and to reiterate that he said that we are going to get back going again in this month, September, whether it is uh, the first one or the second one he mentioned in September. One very important thing he did mention was there's probably only going to be a week or so between the two different timings. So let's let's be very mindful if we don't hear anything by mid-September People don't go, well, where is it? He said there was going to be and all the rest of it. He said there's only going to be maybe a week or so between it. But also he said that we'll, we, we will be coming back bigger and better. Now, he didn't say we're going to be starting, the doors are going to be opening and we're going to be making money from that day that we open the doors. He said that the system will be back online. And we also need to understand that he will give us instructions of how to move this train forward all right so let's not stop jumping to conclusions now this brings me on nicely to what we have done here and other people have been doing nearly all week and that is going around social media with a dustpan and brush uh, there is for, for whatever reason i have no idea why but there is an awful lot of you out there who have been running with some of the most craziest theories of what is going to be happening in on passive. We cannot reiterate time and time again that we just need to listen to our CEO of what he says and take that what he has said. Not exaggerate it, not take it out of context, not bend the truth to because it might suit your needs uh, within your viewers for your YouTube channel. Uh, I'm seeing way too many posters for YouTubes with income and money and all these sort of things. Space stations, craziness. What is the matter with you all? Why can't we just listen to our CEO and digest what he has said? If you did not understand what he had to say, Get somebody who speaks English to translate it to you. And then you will have the 
full uh, full up update of what he has said because we try very hard, us three, and I know many other people do, we try extremely hard to give the details as we have been told them. We don't fabricate, we don't bend, we don't make stuff up. We always say, in our opinion, if we're not so sure, and that covers all of those bases. But one thing we don't say is what the company is going to be doing that's not true. So please, guys, heed the warnings, okay? It is certainly not going to do you any favours in the future if you are one of the people that is, in inverted commas, bending the truth, okay? And if you think that you are going to just get some cheap uh, likes, hits, uh, all the rest of it for YouTube and nothing's going to happen, uh, then anyway, that'll be on you down the road. So make sure that you give it all the way that. Let's go back to the data thing that Marty was talking about and Ash looked so relieved. Now, let's talk about Ash being relieved about it, okay? Obviously, things have gone on in the background that we don't know about but have had a dramatic effect on our business to the tune of, in Ash's words, putting us back nearly two years. He said that. Now, obviously, the data and source codes of all of us within the ecosystem, all of the source codes and data that is used to be written to actually make the products, the digital products that we have seen already and ones that are coming, he was he was extremely worried that that was almost going to be held to maybe ransom or used as leverage or whatever it may be. Obviously, we were moving forward and we are moving forward to get back on track again. But knowing we have got now 100% control within our set, within us as on passive of all of the data, all of the information, not only from the products and services, but also from us, wallets, commissions, etc. That is the biggest deal that we have heard so far. Why? Because it means we can take all of that and literally use it anywhere we want, right? Doesn't have to be necessarily on these servers or that servers or wherever it is. As long as we have got all that, we can stick it anywhere. Now, that is really, really important. It means that we now can go forward with confidence, knowing that whatever we do, we are in complete control of our own destiny as far as the business core is concerned, because that really was the core of what the business is. The data for all of the uh, early bird founders, the affiliates, the customers, all the accounts, all of the commissions, et cetera, et cetera, all of that is all intact. And it is a huge, huge deal. So I was over the moon, in fact, to l listen to that uh, information. But more importantly, did you see the body language and mannerisms of our Siash Mufara? He looked relieved, and absolutely rightly so, because that, without having the knowledge that that is all intact, then you're always going to have that at the back of your mind that, yes, we're moving forward. Yes, we're going with this and all the rest of it. But there's always a but. And now, now there is not that but involved as far as that part is concerned. There's lots of other obstacles, don't get me wrong, that have to be navigated and moved forward with. But that part now is intact. Anyway, I'll leave it with that for now. I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Johnson. Well, thank you, Red. Thank you, Marty. Uh, good to see you both here. I love you both. To all you founders, I love you more. Uh, I ask that you all, that we're on a lot of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, YouTube channels. I would like that you like and subscribe all those uh, channels that you're on and make a comment. Uh, we want to shine the light on everyone and even people's YouTube channels. That's why we do this. Two things I want to talk about today. Um, rushing and trust. And I want to big a big shout out to Tanya and Passive because she catches all my boo-boos. And uh, it's kind of funny. We had a, a, a texting conversation today. I said, this gives me something to talk about uh, today on that matter. I, I put out a post today <laughs> that said, uh, 
three uh, today at noon, three three hundred and sixty years, uh, and I didn't see what it posted, and I realized I rushed it because we are trying to get it out because I get hundreds of messages. What's going on? Is it happening? And this is what happens when you rush. There isn't one of you out there that hasn't made a mistake or an error because you were rushing. Uh, one thing that I love about Ash Mafara, he's not rushing. Has some think mistakes been made? Absolutely, but that wasn't because he was rushing. He affirmed to us many times that I want it done right and I'm not gonna rush to do it no matter what people's situations are right now because in the future, all their situations, whether it's health, uh, money, it, it's going to be solved. And this is why he doesn't rush things. This is why he takes his time. And I have a lot of respect for that, uh, why he does that. But there's not one of you that can't say, oh, my God, I rushed something. And I, uh, you're, you're rushing to go to work and you leave your phone in the car. I bet you a lot of you have done that. And that's what I'm trying to say is we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Um, and I, I think that you should take that all. And listen to what I'm saying on that. Do I have always great things to say? I don't know. I think I do, but that's okay. But don't rush. People rush to put out a post that they know nothing about. I mean, I didn't, my spacesuit is in the uh, in the cleaners today. And when I saw that one, I was like, oh my God, you know? And, and what happens is we got to go to work. We got to put out the fires, make sure the right thing. And, and I explained to one group, I'm I'm not mad at anyone. I, I don't just, I just wish you wouldn't put out fake stuff. Put out, we got enough people that put fake stuff about us out, but put out real information like Red said. Uh, and because every time you put something that's false out there, believe it or not, that makes Ash Mafar have to stop what he's doing, rethink, relook. Oh my God, who said this? Who said that? So please, please uh, know what you're going to post. And like I said, we all make mistakes. I made a big one this morning, uh, and that was funny. Now, my second biggest issue today is about trust. Um, and I've seen a post. I don't claim of any of this stuff to be mine, but I see it and I can add to it. Uh, we talk about trust all the time. And every one of you out there that's listening right now, you've trusted something that you don't know nothing about. And I'm going to give you some examples. You trust a pilot when it's gonna when, when that person's gonna fly you to a different country or from point A to point B. You trust them. You know nothing about that pilot, nothing. But yet you walk into that plane. You get on a cruise ship. Again, you know nothing about the captain of that ship, but yet you trust enough that he's gonna get you from point A to B. I could say the same thing for taxi drivers. Oh my God, I've had some crazy taxi rides in my life. I don't know them, but I trust them. They're going to get me from point A to B. Same with Uber, Lyft. Um, it, it, it can go on and on, all right? You don't really know them, but I'm here to say, myself, these two guys, and a lot of other people, I do know Ash Mafara. I do know his family. I personally have had conversations uh, with Ash Mafara and his family. I do know him, and I trust him 100%. Uh, and I can't say that about a lot of things, but I can say about him. I trust God more than anything, and I've never met him. Someday I'm going to meet him. Not soon, I hope, but but I can feel it in my heart that he's there, and I trust God completely. Um, and we do one of those things again. We talked about touchy-feely, okay? Oh, my God, I'm not, I don't know that person, or I don't trust that. But sooner or later, you got to start trusting some things. But every one of us have got into a boat, plane, car, because, oh, well, I guess I got to trust them. You don't have to trust them. You just know they're going to get you from point A to B. Ash Mafara is going to get us from point A to point B, as Red says, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes on and on. Uh, but to be honest, I really know Ash Mafara. He's genuine. He's generous. And he's doing this for every one of us. He's not trying to do it. He's doing it. Eh, bumps in the road. Every one of us have hit bumps in the road. Uh, do you trust your car when you're driving down the road? Do you know there's not a nail in that road that you might run over and get a, a flat tire? That's what I'm saying. A lot of people say to me, how do you trust this guy? Because I know him. 
I know him and I believe what he's doing right now. That's the biggest thing for me. Hi, Jane, in the background, by the way. This is what it's all about. Uh, trust is a big thing for me. I'm sure it's a big thing to a lot of people, but think about what you do every day. When you when you buy a car, do you know the 3,000 people plus that built that car? Do you know if they put the right screws in? You know, did they tighten the tires right? You don't, but you buy the car anyway on a, on a trust issue. You don't know the salesman. You might. But think about all the people and things that you do that you don't really know nothing about them. I'm going to bet any money you don't even know your doctor or your dentist. You don't know their background. You don't know if they did something bad or good. I mean, no one's perfect. Everyone makes a mistake once in a while. Uh, hopefully not your dentist because that hurts. But that's all I'm trying to say is us three guys here with a lot of other people, we do know Ash. I do trust him uh, with my whole heart. I showed you this morning that what, what happens when you rush, when you rush, you make a lot of mistakes. Okay. Um, I'm passive. It's like this about, and I'm jumping because I'm love talking about this stuff. I love showing you examples uh, a bottle of wine. Some of you might collect wine. You might have a 1932 something Chardonnay. I don't know. You've never tasted it. You've never smelled it. It's corked up. And you waited 40 years to drink that wine because just like on passive, that wine, as long as it sits there and waits, gets better and better. And that's exactly what in passive is. Uh, but the difference is I can smell it, I can taste it, and I can see it. Where other people say uh, things, oh, they listen, we got a couple of people that do YouTube channels, and I'm not sure why they waste their time on something they don't believe in. It's kind of funny, I think, where they curse, they swear at us, they make fun of us. Uh, that's okay, because to me, that's free advertising. Um, we don't believe what you say anyway. But then again, we don't waste our time <laughs> arguing with you. And that's okay. We're humans. Uh, we do make mistakes. We do make errors. Maybe we trust things sometimes, and we know nothing about, but that's part of being. Do you think Red Redfern knows exactly if his boat motor is going to run perfect as he's cruising down those those channels. He doesn't, but he's trusted in it that this is what I got to do. Marty DeGarmo, the greatest marketer on earth. <laughs> he's going to kill me. All right. Does he make mistakes? Absolutely not. He never makes a mistake, but yeah. L listen, everyone knows two of us can't spell very good. And one of us on here will correct us all the time. You know, you spelled that wrong. That's because we're human and we're just trying to listen. We're three normal dudes trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, we trust uh, completely and ask Mafar on what he's doing. Like I said, because we have a personal relationship. And now I have a personal relationship with thousands and thousands of founders from all over the world. And they trust me. And they love, and I love the fact that they trust me. They'll ask me questions. I'll answer the best I can. Hey, Chris, I don't see you where you at, but wait a minute till it starts. Uh, I love the fact that I do have personal relationships with people all over the world. Um, I don't have no personal relationships in space yet, but I'm sure that'll come someday. Uh, but it, it's it's just a great, great feeling to know that you believe in something that's that good. And that's what a passive is, Okay. Uh, I've lived it for almost four years now, read what five or six years, Marty, five or six years. And guess what? To all you negative YouTube channels out there, no matter what you call us, no matter how fat you say I look, I'm still here. Marty's still here. Red's still here. Millions are still here. Why? Because we have the faith and trust in Ash Mafara. That's the honest to God truth. Uh, we have people every day now that we're talking to. Uh, you had read it, Abdi Alasso on here. I love that guy. Uh, we had some great people shining the light that we knew nothing about. We knew of them. Uh, one of them I met yesterday was uh, a really, really good guy. You'll see that soon. But this is what it's all about for us. We're still here. We're not going anywhere. And passive is going to go longer than all of us will live. And we have people out there right now who, who need it really bad. Uh, 
<laughs> Thank you, Kamos. Uh, and, and it's going to happen. Uh, take advantage of good. All right. Don't take advantage of bad. Every one of us, including us three on this on this uh, computer panel right now, do we have things in our life that we don't? Oh, my God. I don't know if I can do this. Or that. Absolutely. Listen, I was broke in my lifetime. All right. I hit bottom more more than you think. It's probably why my head's so big. OK, but let me tell you what my parents taught me. Yeah, you're going to hit bottom and you're going to bounce a few times, but eventually you're going to shoot straight to the top. You don't give up on your dreams. You don't give up, period. When you wake up in the morning, say, what am I going to do? What am I going to do today to better myself? I'm not thinking a bad thought. Oh, man, what if I stub my toe? Oh, my God, what if I get a flat tire? What if I don't catch a fish? And I get that all the all the time. But it's about having faith and trust in this company, this family, uh, a guy we call Ash Mafara, who's gone through some pretty traumatic things in the last couple months. Um, and it's sad to know that someone that is doing what he's doing still gets ridiculed, but that's all going to change soon. Uh, uh, I love you all. Uh, I think I'm rambling a little too much longer. I'm not sure. I know Ash has the link. I was hoping he'd pop in here, but I'm not too sure about that. Marty was talking to someone, but I'm going to turn it back over to Marty. And remember this, we're here. We care. We love you. Ask Mafara, all those things times a hundred back at you. And please, please go out and have some fun today. No matter what your situation is, breathe that fresh air and enjoy it because life is about to get better. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now that that's what's going to happen. So stay tough. I do want to shoot out some prayers um, that happen. Of course, I'm praying for Ash Mafar's family uh, with what happened, that tragedy that happened in their family. Um, Julie Pierre's daughter is going through some stuff. Uh, we got to talk to her for a couple minutes last night. It was cool. Julie's also, I believe, got a webinar tonight. I'm sure that'll be posted out later. I think it's at 730. I'm not sure. And I want to thank everyone out there that is shining the light. Everyone out there that's talking about on passive. Every one of you are doing what you believe in your heart. And don't let no one stop you. They haven't stopped me and they're not going to stop me. All right. To all the negative people out there, because your life sucks. Ours, our lives are great because we know exactly what's heading our way and coming our way. But don't think we don't. We do. Marty DeGarmo. I had nothing back to you. Jeez. Holy moly. Uh, anyway, one thing I, I would like to go over just real quick. I'm not going to be quite as nice. Um, some of these posts that are being made are not mistakes. They're done deliberately. Us going to Mars or Jupiter and all these. This has been going on way too long. You know, the company's going through enough stuff without adding to it, where you got a space station and all that, that's not a mistake. That was done on purpose. And uh, people need to knock it off. We know what's right and what's wrong. I've said this at least 100 times. If you want to know what's going on, go back to the tape where he said it. Don't take anybody's word for it. If you're going out just to get numbers, you might wind up getting something else. And as far as negative people, I never want to hear about it at all. Uh, I don't care who you are. I don't even want to talk about it. But knock off with the uh, posting stuff and, oh, did I do that? Or, oh, I'm sorry. You're not sorry. If you did it, you did it on purpose. We need to stop doing that. We have enough stuff going on. Uh, I want other people, if you see something you know is not true, if somebody's given claims of how much money they're going to make, report them to everyone. Everyone, it's a lie. If somebody tells you we got a space station or we're putting satellites or we're doing, we're going to orbit the moon or we're going to put a colony on Mars, bull crap. It's not happening. Okay. We got enough stuff going on. Don't make up stuff. It's hurting us. It's not, it's not, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean bull crap. You do it every other week. That's not a sorry that you're doing it on purpose. Uh, someday the company's going to crack down on that. And I can't wait because uh, we have enough stuff going on. We're we're full uh, we're full grown adults here. We should do the right thing. 
We take care of each other. A lot of time is spent on making sure we go the right course. Uh, if we don't know, like Red said, we say, hey, this is my opinion. I don't say anything that I'm not sure about. And if I do, I'm sorry. But mainly, listen to what Ask said. We we just explain it in our own versions of what Ask said. And we're pretty good at it. We should be after five, six years. So, But anyway, do the right thing. If you see something that's not right, don't share it. Report it. Don't share it. Report it. And find the blockhead that put it up. Anyway, that's all I got. Anybody got anything else? Boom. Ash didn't uh, show up. He's busy, as, as you know. Uh, that does not mean he couldn't come and have a meeting any day, any time. Seriously. With things moving as fluent as they are, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, love y'all. And see you next time. And send a video if you want to do uh, one of the shows, because people need to know who you are. 20-minute max. Give us a headshot. And uh, we'll see you next time.